Hey, you know, it was funny when we were watching The Bachelor last week. We made the same observation. Which was that how crazy The Bachelor is. Yeah, bro. I don't get that fucking show at all. And, and I was getting so angry at Natalie for liking it. Like, listen, but wait, I, this, is, this is why it's crazy, right? No other On the show, the guy goes and he makes out with six different girls, has sex with all of them. Yeah. And, no. and the entire country's like, oh, yeah, it's fine. What do fine. you mean, no? It's so he crazy. It's not, it's he not, doesn't have sex with Because them. if we have, we have a friend. What are you talking about? He doesn't have sex with all of them. Oh, yes, yes he, they do. They yes, go, they they go do. to, at the end of the show, that he has sex with, like, but when it gets down to the three of them, they that's all have the, sex. That's in the show. Imagine what he's doing. He probably has all those girls' numbers, and every night he has a new girl over. There's no way. Wait, what are you talking about? Like, on the actual season or after this show is over? He During the show. During the show. During the show. When Look, they're all in They their, don't have well, phones on the show. The point is... What do you mean? They don't have phones on the show. What are you talking about? They don't have a phone on the show. They're not allowed to have phones when they're while they're on the show. For that, like, five, six weeks, whatever, that they're filming, they're not allowed to have cell phones. The part that's, like, really bizarre about it, how this dude is making out with, like, 15 different girls, and right. he's literally building, like, it, serious relationships. And in with, real life, and the point is, in real life, if a guy were to do that, if a friend friend of yours or a friend of ours were to do that that is so disgusting right. and yet every week yeah like every if, woman if, watches that show like yeah, like if i so went on a date with a girl tonight and then i went out with a girl tomorrow night the girl tonight found out about the girl tomorrow night it'd mm. be fucking it'd be hell on earth but yeah. in the bachelor it's fucking whore city <laughs> well, it's literally a brothel yes it is <laughs> it's so it's a it's a brothel on tv on tv it's just it, it is very it's very interesting it is very provocative and i didn't original it didn't originate no, that way i do like it i'm not saying it i, I love, love the, show. the bachelor, love the bachelor. I, let, let me say it. it's one of my favorite shows <laughs> probably the best show on tv for but yeah. <laughs> well for especially for the reason because it is so like fucking crazy yeah like like this dude is literally hooking up with 16 girls and it's like the craziest part is like the girls will come back and they'll all be talking and they'll be like hope we find our prince charming here yeah. when they're all after the same <laughs> fucking guy yeah, I know. like that's so crazy that is crazy to me it's crazy to me that they even form like friendships or bonds within the within themselves yeah. when they're all going for the same man and wanting like, to get the same thing i'm just like how are you friends with that person like i'd be like fuck no get out of my face and then let's say wanna. let's say i ended up winning the show you'd be that person on the show I would love to see the kind of person I would be on a show oh, like that. Uh, you just told us. You just told us what kind of person you'd be. He's like, I'm here for David and no one else. <laughs> no, I, no, listen. And, and then, and then, let's say I won the show, right? Out of all the guys, the girl chooses me. Sure. We and, and then we're 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 living happily ever after. Two months in, fuck it. Two weeks in to our marriage. Yeah. I'm gonna be like, yo, what the fuck were you doing taking so long? <laughs> what were you doing? Why didn't you just? You were fucking. You were making out with Lindsay. You took her to the boat and not me. Like I'd be, I'd be fucking livid. Oh yeah. And I'd be watching these episodes back and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, that's why the majority of those relationships don't actually work out. There's like only yeah. three in the history of the Bachelor franchise that people are actually in successful relationships. Sure. Follow up question: um, Can I be the Bachelor? Is that is there any way I can do that? Um, if that's what you're trying to do, I would love to be on that show. I think it'd be so fun. Obviously, it's fun. It's everyone's dream, right? Maybe not everyone's You'd dream never per do se. That show. But now, so full of it. I'm not even saying like, oh, I'd love to hook up with 35 women. I'm just saying I think it's just it's like the most fun idea of like I love people finding relationships. Like mm. I love that idea, and I think it's just so funny. And there's so many. What did you think when Natalie asked me to the dance? Did you think she was making a mistake, or was it a great idea? <laughs> this um, was, I think, junior year. 2010. Okay. So, what? So, I don't fucking know. It's I, freshman year. I have the worst memory. You freshman know how, year, who cares? like, when you go to make a decision, you always run it by Natalie? Yeah. So, when Natalie goes to make a decision, she always runs it by me. Oh, okay. A, we had a conversation about her asking you, and... and um, Natalie did? I don't remember that. <laughs> yes, oh, my God. I never knew this. So, um... Well, she, it was turnabout. It was the first turnabout, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the yeah. first dance where the girl asked the boy. The girl, yeah. girl asked the boy. And, and I didn't want to be the she, only girl that didn't go to the she dance. She wanted to go oh, to the dance. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, I love David so much. Well, no, she wanted to go to the dance, but she, was, she wasn't like... You Little know, hanging fruit over She here. didn't have a boyfriend. She wasn't, you know, boy crazy, you know, whatever. And um, this other guy so, just so like, we were he already talking, had a date. I was like, what about David? Like, you guys are really good friends. And, oh, so you, you brought know, up the idea. I might have. Okay, and then how did she react? She was nervous, you know, asking a boy. And then we had, then we were coming up with how to ask you because we had to do it in some, you know, goofy way. Right. Wow. And uh, and somewhere we have a video of it actually I going know. down. I want to find. Yeah, the video. where the fuck is it? It's in the storage unit. Because remember, the, I live in a dance trailer. Where she left you to go dance with everybody else. <laughs> Only dance I've ever been to was the dance with Natalie. It was the worst. Oh my god, I can't tell you. Well, why like, didn't Why didn't you ask someone to prom? 
I don't care. I I hated it. Even going back, everyone was always like, "Oh, you're gonna you're you gonna love school." I don't believe this. This doesn't I match know, up at all. I David. know it doesn't match up, but I just don't like that. Like I don't like dressing up. I never liked it. The, the reason I hated dances, like the ultimate reason I hated dances, was because all the parents would come together and take pictures of the kids before they would go out to the dance, oh, yeah. and that part fucking terrified me Why? of me being dressed up and my dad being a photographer, knowing oh. that my dad would be at all the shoots for like oh. photographing all these kids. Oh, that's it, why it fucking like terrified me. So I was like, I'm not going to any dance and everyone was always like you're gonna you're gonna be really bummed out you're missing prom like this is like a life-changing thing i was like no 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 i've never i've never opted out of something in high school that i've regretted biggest things that i i heard growing up is you're gonna regret this you're gonna regret this you're gonna regret this there's not a single thing that i didn't do or did do in high school that i regret i have zero regrets sure, i believe that i believe yeah. you but but this was you didn't like the way you looked. You no, know, I didn't. In all dressed up, like just now, like I don't like dressing up now. I just I, I just get so uncomfortable. Great, you go to, you go to fancy things all the time. You get dressed up. I know, but I don't like dressing up. Natalie, really? Natalie knows what. So it's because your dad was a photographer too. No, I, I just didn't like I just didn't like dances. I just there was like so much pressure on it that I was just like I was just like I'd rather not have to do that so i just didn't do it like i was like i was scared of everything like i was scared of like the interaction like the dancing with a girl i was like oh my god that's right. like every step of the way of a dance for me was like just like like just i was just completely anxious i was like oh, I got you. why do it if i don't want to do it yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, regardless i went to dance with natalie and it was the best day of my life oh just kidding <laughs> <laughs> david loves to wrap up podcast stories with the word regardless 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 <laughs> Hey, did you hear about this Houston Astros controversy? No, what's happening? Okay, so... Oh, they're cheating, right? Yeah, in, in 2017, they won the World Series. Oh, shit. And now, some guy who was like a player on the team, he's not on the team anymore, he's being interviewed, he starts talking about the World Series, he goes, well, you know, we, we stole signs. We, you know, basically... We, we cheated. Yeah, we cheated. Oh, wow. And, uh, and they had this really elaborate sign-stealing thing, and now, um, and now that manager of the Astros is now the manager of the Red Sox, and he's going to get fired. You know what I mean by stealing signs, right? Yeah, like they know. So, what... like a catcher will give you like a one and a t two is fastball. Yeah. Three is curve or whatever. Yeah. So, the, the players would have a, a thing on their chest that would buzz. So, the guy would steal the sign and they'd be like, okay, it's a fastball. And then they'd be like, Zzz. so they'd know a fastball is coming. Yeah, they'd buzz them in like it was like Morse code or something. Right. Right. And that's how they were cheating. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Is this confirmed or is it still a rumor? Um,. You're just gonna, yeah, it's I, confirmed. No, I think I think it's pretty confirmed. Jason just goes, yeah, I'm gonna go with confirmed on this one, Dave. <laughs> us, us, an interesting story. Us and news stories. Why does I mean? Why does it matter? I mean, it's cheating, I guess. No, I, it. Uh, I I know, but you know what? I know what you mean. Like, why does that matter? Something. Right. Because uh, because you should be able to do whatever you can to, like, yeah. Why is that cheating? What are you talking about? Well, tell me. You're stealing a sign. <laughs> so what? That's like <laughs> if I can figure out what you're gonna do. You're using fucking electronics. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh right, the electronics part. You're right. Yeah, that's what are you talking fucking... about? But but if I could. So the right. person that was stealing oh, yeah, the, the electronics. Sign... That's the big. You're right. That's the worst <laughs> part of it. If, if the person that was stealing a sign was from their team and they just translated, like they understood what the other team was doing, or is it somebody from that actual team was telling this team? No, it's like it's like David's up at bat and I'm pitching, right? Yeah, they translated the signs and then they fed it to the Jen's guy. Jen's the catcher. No, no. Jen's the catcher. I'm the pitcher, right? Mm -hmm. You guys are on the same team. We're on the same team. Speaking of signs, I think it's a sign that you're here tonight. Put your, okay, take yes. your hand off her thigh. <laughs>